Alright guys, this is the third time I'm going to try to do this today. First time my dog was barking to let me out, and the second time the, dog, the cat jumped up on my computer. So, here we go. Take three. This is my TTC and life update. It's cycle day two, and uh, AF came. I'm not surprised that she came. I had a really wacky cycle this past cycle. And here comes my cat again. See if you can see him. Yes, he always has to be sitting on me, I swear. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. As long as he doesn't jump on the computer. Okay, so anyways, like I was saying, it's cycle day two. I had a really long cycle. It was 45 days. And I actually ovulated two weeks late, which caused it to be 15 days later. Or, yeah, than it normally is. Um, I gotta tell ya, I was still disappointed when AF came. I always am disappointed just because when you do ovulate in a cycle and you BD around that time, you're always secretly hoping you'll get pregnant. So, I don't know. But I've read that if you ovulate late, it, the egg quality is not there and your lining probably isn't that great either. So chances of a pregnancy is low. But even still, I was really depressed on cycle day one. Uh, I was really depressed the day before cycle day one because I knew it was coming and I was having the spotting and things like that. And uh, I don't know. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. I'm freaking out because in six months I'm going to be 30 and I always thought when I was 30 I would at least be pregnant or have a child already. I thought I would have a child by the time I was 27, 28, so it's really depressing, honestly, but what can you do? Um, I'm still hoping that I'll be pregnant by the time I'm 30, but I'm not going to put all my eggs in one basket because I feel honestly I've been putting my life off in hopes that I'd be pregnant by now, and that includes things like planning vacations or my weight loss efforts, I feel, have been really crappy for the past two years because I haven't worked out as hard as I wanted to in fear of interfering with implantation. And I know that's not true and things like that, but when you're TTC and it's not happening, your mind plays tricks on you and you rationalize everything. I feel like in your head you just rationalize everything. Oh, that's why it's not happening. Oh, I shouldn't do this. That's going to prevent it, you know. And when you've never seen a BFP before, it almost feels like a dream that when of getting your BFP. It feels like a dream that's never going to happen. So, I don't know. I'm just rolling with the punches, taking it day by day. But me and my husband did agree that probably in February we're going to go and see a fertility specialist for sure. I'm really scared about it for a couple reasons. It's weird. I'm scared of finding out what's wrong and actually having to face it. But I'm also scared that they may not find anything wrong. And we may just have unexplained infertility. Now, like I said before, I had endometriosis. And it's never something that goes away completely. Um, it just continues to come back. You have surgery for it. And it can come back. The surgery that I had, I had it removed by excision, which it's not the laser. It's, um, they take it out by hand with a tool and cut around the whole infected area. And it's supposedly, it's supposed to grow back a lot slower, but every woman's body's different, so it all depends. Um, I'm supposed to be having an ultrasound Thursday because I had some mid-cycle spotting. I've been having it for three months in a row now. I had it on cycle day 16 last cycle, so I made an appointment for that. She thinks I may have polyps or something, and she also wants to check the quality of my lining, which doesn't really make sense to me because I'm shedding my lining right now. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, though. Maybe it's growing back, but I'm, I have my period, so... I should be almost done with my period by Thursday anyway, so, I don't know, I'm so sick of all this, I just want 
to be pregnant and have a healthy baby in my arms, you know? <sighs> I was talking to my husband last night and our birthdays are in the same month. We're born in the same year. So we're going to be 30, both of us in around six months. And he said, you know, because I was talking about how I want to get in the best shape by the time I'm 30. Like, I can, you know. So he said that would be awesome, you know, for both of us to do that. Um, he's like, but honestly, he's like, I would be hope, I, I am hoping that you'll be pregnant by the time you're 30 at least. And I said, yeah, that's the goal, but it doesn't mean it's going to happen, you know. So he says to me, oh, well, if it doesn't, he's like, we may have serious problems. It's like, it's, it's not clicking for him that we have a problem or I have a problem or whatever. We're a couple, so... I'm gonna just going to use the term we have a problem. But I guess it doesn't click for him because it's not him having the problems on the outside. Like, he's not having spotting or pain or anything like that. We don't know yet. I mean, we're going to do the sperm analysis soon, probably Saturday. Um, I'm going to turn it in on Saturday. Um, but until that comes back, he's under the impression that you know, we don't have a problem or whatever. I don't know. But he just said that to me yesterday. And I'm like, well, we do have a problem. So I've already accepted it. I said, it's just not knowing the answers. What's the problem? You know, it's really complicated. So I think it's really starting to hit home for him now that, hey, we're almost 30 and um, we're not even pregnant yet. So, and I know 30 is young, whatever, but We've been married for, it's going to be four years this month, so I, we, we didn't try for a baby for like a couple of years. We were just wanting to enjoy each other and be married and whatever. We've been together a total of, it's going on 12 years, I think. So, but whatever, um, I'm rambling now, so. I'll just leave this with, um, I'm going to be starting two more channels. One is just going to fo focus solely on weight loss. I'm not going to be doing that on these channel, this channel anymore. And it's called Crystal Losing It. And I haven't uploaded any videos to that yet. Um, the other channel is going to be a natural living channel. And it's going to include things like, um, I make my own fabric softener. Um, cleaning, like face cleaning products, um, just different natural things that I do every day. I haven't thought of a name for that channel yet, so if anybody has any good suggestions, let me know. Leave me a comment. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. This is kind of all over the place. Sorry about that, but um, it's been a little while since I did an update. So yeah, Thursday's my ultrasound. I will update um, on that eventually. And yeah, I'm just waiting for this year to end. I really thought 2012 would be my year, but it hasn't happened again. So I'm just really wanting to just live my life and get some answers in the process. But I feel like I've lost myself on this whole journey I, I kind of don't remember what life was like before TTC. It's like I think about it when I wake up and when I go to sleep. And um, not just the TTC part, but just not being pregnant and wanting a child. And it's really hard. And I was driving today to go do some errands, and I thought to myself, whenever I do have my baby, I'm never going to forget this feeling. I'm never going to take my child for granted, and I'm never going to not be grateful in the good times and in the bad times when I do have a child. So if it's worth anything, I'm really grateful for that perspective and experience in all of this infertility journey. So yeah, I'll end with that. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.